Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Isaac Reviews 2020. Last time we checked in, I reviewed the Sonic movie. And... Uh, I'll admit, I... I did notice that there are some nods to the game I didn't get until recently. Like the Echidna Tribe and Sonic's World Rings and stuff, and... I'll also admit that there were some good things about it, like Jim Carrey supplies a great performance, and the animation on Sonic and within his cave, some of the backgrounds, and Green Hill Zone is stellar. But aside from that, I personally didn't like the writing, the characters were annoying, and the jokes were pretty bad. But um, Now, that doesn't mean that I'm still changing my opinion on it. If anything, I still think it sucked. But, you know, just some food for thought. But, anyways, today I was able to get the once in a lifetime chance, or maybe a few times in a lifetime chance, to watch Onward. This is my local AMC. Wait, no, not local. It's a 15 minute drive from my house. Um, they were doing an advanced screening of the film. Uh, but, what I think of the movie itself? Well, I actually thought it was really good. Like, it's not one of Pixar's best, but I still enjoy it anyway. Now, before we move on, I want to let you all know, there are no spoilers in this review, so you don't have to worry about that. But, with that said, what I think of it before it came out. Well, I first saw it, I mean, the trailer, I first saw the trailer around the time I was still kind of new to reviewing stuff, but I was getting the hang of it. And honestly, I now usually I have a predetermined notion on how a movie is going to be good, but there are some exceptions. Like, for example, the Dora movie, I thought it was going to be horrible, but it actually turned out to be okay. And on the flip side, there are movies like Spider-Man Far From Home, where I thought they were going to be great, but they ended up being trash. Please don't crucify me for saying that. But with this one, my predetermined notion got the best of me, so I saw the movie knowing I'm probably going to really like it. And what do you know? I loved it. So the story is about two brothers named Ian and Barley who discover that their dead dad had a wizard staff that he kept hidden from them until they were both adults. But when Ian tries to use a resurrection spell on him, the gem used for it disintegrates so the two need to go on an adventure inspired by a card game Barley has to go to all sorts of locations like an old tavern turned restaurant, a gas station terrorized by a gang of hostile sprites, not like the soda, like fairy kind of sprites to a cliff with a drawbridge at the other side and okay I'll stop there because pretty soon I'll be entering spoiler territory. So what I enjoy about it is firstly the animation is great which is normal for Pixar despite how the cartoony aspect doesn't really fit a Pixar movie and more something from Sony animation and the characters were all greatly developed and the story while pretty slow at the start comes full circle near the end, and has even the smallest detail have a crucial purpose to the story. Plus, the the message on family, while it does feel similar to Coco in a sense, does hit home really well and can squeeze a tear out of some audiences. And yeah, I was one of them, this movie did make me cry. But that's all good since the execution does end up making it all the better. So, yeah, there's not too much else for me to say, but yeah, this really was great. Now let's head on over to the conclusion, because I just wanted to get this review out for you guys, and yeah. So to conclude, this movie was not one of Pixar's best, but with how witty, heartfelt, and enjoyable it was, I'd say this is definitely something you're going to want to see, preferably when it actually comes out. Oh, and by the way, since Disney did buy Fox and all that, we finally get another animated short that plays before a Disney movie after a three-movie-long hiatus. 
This time, it's a Simpsons short, since Disney has the Simpsons now. And the short is called Playdate with Destiny, where Maggie meets a boy at the park named Hudson and would try and do anything to reunite with him after she gets separated from him when she has to leave the playground. I'll admit, it was kind of weird, and it's definitely not like the Pixar shorts we're used to at all. But, it does serve its purpose to showcase Maggie Simpson being, well, Maggie Simpson. But, for this movie, I'm gonna need a new award to give for... What the? Come on. Alright, had a little trouble with uh, trying to change slides. But, for this, I'm gonna need a new award to give to movies that um, that are really good. And their must watches, 9 to 10 out of 10 movies. Let's see here. Hmm. Am I getting too close to the mic? I probably am. <sighs> My mic quality at this point probably sounded like ear ape. But, anyways, I have an idea. This earns the title of being a certified must watch. So, if you're watching this by the time on order releases, which you probably are, go watch it. And who knows, maybe you might find some magic in it too. Come on. Alright, there we go. Perfect. And join me next time where we review the next of the Disney live-action rehashes, Mulan. Yeah, just by the fact alone that I'm calling it a rehash, you can tell I'm not looking forward to it. Especially considering the fact that it isn't going to even have Mushu in it. Apparently it's for some cultural reasons, and that apparently he's racist. But it doesn't matter. He made the original Mulan a lot more fun. So it's disappointing to see how they had to cut him out. But, who knows, maybe what comes after that will be even better. Peter Rabbit 2, huh? Okay, seriously, who asked for this? I I'd love to know. But, with all that said, that is all the time I've got for two different reasons. Firstly, I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. And, secondly, I'm working on all... Uh, on ranking all the movies that I saw in 2019. So stay tuned for that. But this is gonna be where the video ends. Oops. This is gonna be where the video ends. Thank you all for watching. And um, I mean, yeah, thanks for watching. It, it meant a lot to me and I had fun making this for the most part. And I will, and thanks for watching again. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day.